Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I make videos every Tuesday and every Friday. So, and if you're a return subscriber, thank you so, so much for your continued love and support of my channel and I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how I got my eyelashes to grow really, really long. Now, bear in mind, I've got like two coats of mascara on and I've got a lash lift. So, Liz, hang on, I'm going to show you are my own lashes and that you kind of like trying to show you at any kind of angle so the thing i've been using to grow my eyelashes really long so it's been like four and a half weeks it's sunday and i started like on a thursday four and a half weeks ago so i've been using this thing called castor oil now i have i have i have this uh, now the one I use is the cold pressed castor oil by Very Naturally. I got it off Avi, I think it was like about four or five pounds and it came with one of these ones and it's kind of like dirty because I've been using it. It's this kind of like mascara spruity wand. You can get these off Avi separately or get them anywhere like beauty store or something like that but mine's kind of like it's like a neat clean it. I should clean it. But what I do, I put this on every single light a good layer of it so I dip it in about that much on the wand so at the end of the wand and then I kind of like and what I do with the wand I literally kind of like tap it like that so the oil kind of drips down the thing and then I just apply it so the root to the tip just to really work it in like you're applying mascara but I'm really working it in root to tip just getting every kind of nook cranny like underneath lashes on top like just and also the lower lashes so like kind of like down up just really working and I actually spend ages every night just working it into my lashes I literally pile it on I pile on that castor oil and also what I like to do take a bit of it on off the wand on the ring finger and kind of like get the root of my eyelashes and then just work it on with the wand again <laughs> I'm extra I know but well, do this it just really like, kind of nourishes my eyelashes and it does help them grow so to start off with i have naturally quite long lashes but nothing like this nothing like this honestly to be honest if it was my own natural eyelashes i wouldn't get this result unless i had tons of mascara like i mean tons and tons and tons and even then i wouldn't get as long and as lifted as that so it's all thankless castor oil and also a lash lift now I do tip my own eyelashes but my cousin did my lash lift which I'm so grateful for but I did order like a lash clip I did order a lash lift kit off eBay and it did a really amazing job. Now I will kinda of insert a video of what my lashes looked like before and kinda of during and after. Obviously I'm gonna be using that kind of castor oil on my eyelashes from my own. It's gonna be my main kind of beauty product. It's just I love it, it's my secret weapon and everyone's been asking I lay fake eyelashes, I lay a lash extension in, like no, it's a lash lift and it's my own lashes and like Like my boyfriend's mum was like I thought you were wearing falsies like last night because I was like went out of their house before like went out for my friend's birthday and she was like I thought you were wearing falsies and I'm like no it's a castor it's a lash lift and all and yeah like just I also had more mascara on last night because it was more of a going out dramatic look and so the camera cut out but as I was saying, I had more mascara on last night compared to the day because last night was all like a dramatic going out look. I did film the look I did on last night, but today I've got two coats of mascara, a L'Oreal one like over top and then I've got a uh, um, Max Factor one underneath just to get me those lashes, but I just love it. I actually just love it. So here's what my eyelashes look like at the start of this kind of castor oil journey. I hadn't put any castor oil on these lashes and just i'm showing you a series of pictures so here's what it looked like after a week of castor oil used to have grew a bit but it's hard to see because they're not tinted or anything like yet i left them four weeks before we tinted them so i'll just stick the natural color maybe a tiny bit of tint free in there from like the past previous use before i started this treatment and it held like a lot longer good for like a week and then here's what it looks like with makeup on well, loads of mascara on them 
at week one and then you can see there are better images what they're like they just look massive even after just a week here's week two just pictures of what they look like and obviously you gain a series of pictures and then here's what week two with no kind of makeup on them and then here is week three with makeup on the mascara on and then no makeup and then here is that week four with some tint on them and then the week four after the lash lift and you can tell like the lash lift did work but some of the lashes didn't curl as well as others but it still gives a good result and a good lift and obviously they're tinted too so it really makes them stand out. And because I am coming twice at the end of this month, I know. It's just been helping smooth out my eye area and helping like smooth out lines. Yes, I do have a couple of lines. I've had them like for years, but they've got worse over the last year or so. And people are probably like, why is that? But I do, and makeup does accentuate them lines, but using castor oil has helped kind of moisturize my eye area and make the lines appear smoother, which is what I want. And it kind of helps, it'll be good for like, nourishing my kind of eye area and preventing wrinkles forming and kind of putting it off so if you're looking for um a good kind of cream to kind of help smooth out lines and if you want to prevent lines from forming obviously you're going to because we're all going to age but you want to kind of put it off and prevent it get eyelash get castor oil and that's going to help your lashes grow and it's going to help like your wrinkles from forming and if you have them it's going to smooth them out so yes castor oil is a must it's really helped mine get them like nice and plumped and smoothed and moisturized also if you want to get your eyebrows to go which i have kind of like used it a couple times on the arches on my eyebrows because my eyebrows are naturally kind of like straight soft arch eyebrows and i like to have high arched eyebrows so i'm trying to get to the wee baby hairs like where like the upper parts are like the arches yeah the arches I have on now I've got some baby hairs naturally there but I'm trying to like get them to thick it up I'm going to like start using that religiously every night to get that area to thick it up and just to kind of reshape them because I want to like have that high arched look because I think yes I've lost like free stone but my face is still going to be round because I've got a round face and that's just my face shape but I think high arched eyebrows are more flatter than me. I look back at old pictures of me with like kind of straighter eyebrows. I'm like, no, no, this doesn't really do much for me. It doesn't do anything for me. High arched eyebrows are all the way. Oh, yeah, they're all high arched eyebrows all the way, should I say. Because Charlotte Holcroft and Lindsay Christine and Carrie Jama have beautiful eyebrows. And it's like, I want to get their eyebrows. They like, have gorgeous kind of like thin tapered high arched eyebrows. I'm so jealous <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna like start using it on my eyebrows like those kind of areas where like it looks sparse when I have no product on them now it takes me ages to do my eyebrows and I want to like cut down the time I really do so I think using castor oil on the areas that are sparse which is quite like a load of it because I've been I just basically plucked the crap out of like, my eyebrows to get the middle of the shape <laughs> so yeah by kind of training them to go in that shape it will be amazing for me and also it's good for your hair so if you want to like thicken up and help your hair grow and like help kind of repair damage say you've got bleached hair like me or you've used like a load of chemicals like colouring chemicals like bleach chemicals straightening permanent whatever use castor oil like once a week castor oil mix it in with coconut oil as a treatment and put it all over your hair wrap your hair in one of them turbans do it once a week and leave it in overnight so do it weekly so say you do like a nice wee hair treatment Sunday night leave it on from Monday morning put your shampoo on deep don't put any water on your hair first why is it always but put your shampoo on before you put any kind of like water on your hair rub it in wash it off and shampoo about once maybe twice and then put your conditioner on your hair is going to be feeling amazing and it's going to grow like a weed and your eyebrows and your eyelashes and any kind of hair want to grow <laughs> but yeah so we'll be doing updates on this and yeah i'll update like every month if we can be bothered but i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you again in the next one stay gorgeous bye
what to do now? Forrest, did I tell you to soon? What the? I'm aware of that. Well, where am I ever actually with that? Tell me. Please tell me. Right. Bye. <laughs>